great. That so much looks like somebody's put some oil on you. It's just lubricated the swing. It looks <laughs> much up. more, yeah. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Such a different looking golf swing now. Careful, that one's carrying. You're laughing in a good way now. <laughs> I'm just going for a cheer. I'm not going to do a cheer. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so if you make your setup now, I'll show you how easy it is to complete the golf swing. Okay, so once we've done step one, so we call this step one, so we're just going to go to about hip height, turn to hip height. There you go. So is that correct? No. Nope. That would be better, wouldn't it? Yep. Yeah. Then the wrist set. Now to complete the swing, all we're going to do is finish the shoulder turn. That's it, done. All oh, right, okay. There you go. So now, do you feel now that your thumb is more underneath the golf club? Yeah. Yeah, perfect. So that's now supporting it. Now, if you were around here. Yeah, it's a bit off. To feel a little bit less control. Yeah. Okay, cool. Ready? So, thumbs on top, thumbs underneath. Just... Lovely. Okay, so can you do that without the golf ball? If you can just do a couple of swings for me. And then up, down, and all the way through. Brilliant. And again. And I want you to do exactly that, but slightly more relaxed. <laughs> There's our shoulders there, they're dropping. Cool. Okay. Brilliant. Well done you. So if I, if you keep hold, so if we did this, does that feel harder now to get to the next bit? So if that club is more around yeah. here, does it yeah, feel it a bit more around there? Yeah. Okay, good. So let's see if we can get this right again. Just watch your width of stance slightly. That's it. Good. Yeah. Yes, well done. So it's almost like you can see the head of the golf club like kind of creeping over. Almost there. Yeah, it's going to stop roughly parallel to the ground but we're really starting to get it in a better angle now. That's it, and then all the way through to finish. So, shall we try it? Yep. Now, how do you feel, relaxed? Yeah, getting there, getting there. I think when you can visually see what you're saying equals yeah. this, then it So once you get that feedback helps from trust. here. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we've got 110 yards to go to the flag. It's only 50 something to get it over the water. Don't be surprised if this goes a little bit further than 110. It might, it might not, but okay. we'll see. But what we're more interested in is the direction. Okay, so the first bit feels really smooth. <laughs> Somebody moved the ball. So what was going through your mind then? Were you thinking of loads of things? <laughs> no, I felt like it was going to be good, actually. Okay, cool. Uh, let's just leave that out. Okay. Now. So now it's gone a bit wonky. Yeah. Um, <coughs> even though we're starting to get the steering wheel in place, what's happened, the engine's not moving as well as it's going to. Um, so can I just show you what's happening? Yes, please. <laughs> if you stand this side. <laughs> so what we're doing here is almost like learning to drive a car. It's like there's loads of different things that we've got to get in place, but then eventually it starts to feel smooth. I think I just crashed them over those two swings. <laughs> only a little one, only a little one. So what's happening, as you're trying to get the club to the right place here, yeah. the way you're doing it is by moving the uh, body over this way. So last time when we were working on the body movement, the body was just simply turning, and now it's gone what we call lateral. So you're moving a little bit too much to the right hand side. So it's getting a bit that way ra rather than just a turn. Yeah. And the more we go over here, the more we've got to come back. And if the time is not right, the shots will still go wrong. Yeah. So if if I just show you the difference, I'll, I'll only do this with a half swing. So if I go over here, can you see how that's there's yeah, a lot your whole of body movement. Is just off balance. You've got it. You've got it. So if we if I now just turn the body, can you see the difference? So my body's just turning mm -hmm. this way. There. And then through. Rather, mm -hmm. rather than that lateral movement. So that's what's happening that's causing okay. some of the issues, but easy to fix. So if you keep hold, and what we're gonna do is hold it here, okay? So the sensation is, imagine your body is just turning, just turn, that's it, that's it. So before you were going all the way over here with mm -hmm. your whole body. Have I been doing that the whole time? Uh, yes, it's, it's crept yeah. in, but that's my job to, to creep okay. it out again. <laughs> okay, there you go, that's the turn now, brilliant, there. And then it goes all the way through. Brilliant. Okay. okay. It's almost like I purposely did that to get an extra bit of coaching. <laughs> That's all right. Okay. Okay. So I did nice and relaxed. That's it. I'm going to go all the way to the top. Well done. 
straight away a better strike, wasn't it? Okay. Did I? Sure enough. No, much, much better. Okay. Yeah. So that's what's called a sway, and we we want it to become a yeah. turn. Yeah. Okay. There is, I, ironically, there is a weight transfer. Your weight will move onto your right foot, but not laterally. So we don't want to go that way. We want it rotationally. Okay. That's it. So nice and relaxed. There you go. Good. Okay. How's that for a strike? It's going in the water, but how's that for a I strike? I felt quite powerful. A bit more powerful. I um, mean, it is. I can see the numbers. <laughs> And how far back do you think your swing went then? Not very. Okay, so imagine how far it's going to go in a minute when we get that there and then underneath. That's Sorry. it. There you go. Let's try it. Um, okay. Okay, so your alignment's good. Okay, so lovely strike, wasn't it? And you see how that's starting to carry a bit further, a bit more accurate? <laughs> Yeah. Gotta go in then. So 116 yards now we're creeping up to, but more importantly, on our intended target. Yeah. Okay, good. It was cleaner, it was more powerful, it it had oomph. Had and oomph. it was a half swing. Yeah, that's right. So without the golf ball, could you just rehearse a full swing? So okay. full is when it goes all the way to the top and the shaft is parallel to the ground. That's it. So turn. Yeah, that's it. Lovely. And again. Now I'm getting my own way. I love it. Okay, yeah. Okay, so it's still a little bit lateral. Yeah, okay. Just a little. Just narrow the feet a little. That's it. There you go. That was not as much sway. Okay. Was it? And I want it to just feel more relaxed. More with your shoulders. Okay. Great. That's almost looks like somebody's put some oil on you. It's just lubricated the swing. It looks <laughs> much more, yeah. But it's really normal because we're trying to get the club to move correctly. We tend to do that in a more deliberate way and everything just tightens up. Yeah. But eventually that will just feel really fluid and flowing and that's when we get even more distance. So, okay. Uh, so let's try that once more with a full swing. Let's with see the what ball. Happens. With the ball. Let's put a ball in the way of the swing. Okay. Well done. Good, good setup. Happy with all that. Full swing. Yep. No, my left foot did a little dance. Okay, good. Let's try it again. Oh, didn't like that one. I didn't like that one. It's that ball. It was the ball's fault. Yep. The important thing, Luke, is that in this, when, when these things happen, don't react to it. We're just making another shot. Good. So can I hit one? And I want you to tell me, think about the, what I would call the flow of the swing. So don't, I'm not too worried about where the shot goes, but how, how does the swing flow? So, and don't forget, I've done this a few million times before, so I should be half decent at it. Okay, how does it flow? It's one movement. One Am I, is mine looking like a few pieces together? A little bit, but we're new to it. We know, we've changed quite a few things, haven't we? It's so. very polite, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> nice and smooth. Yes, monkey see, monkey do. <laughs> Would you say at the moment you're trying too hard? Yeah, yeah. Good, there's, okay. There's quite a lot on board uh, that I need to yeah, and digest and... Okay. Yeah. That's it. Well done. How accurate is that? I know yeah, you that slightly miss hit it, but <laughs> pretty much we don't get too much more accurate than the flight of that one. Good. And again. Okay, so. so if we were to left. to score the smoothness of the feel of the swing out of ten. So 10's really smooth and one isn't. How would that be? My swing or yeah. what you're What you're just doing now. That one was probably about a six. About a six, okay, cool. What do you think you might need to do to make it a seven? Relax more. Okay. Do that. Still relax more. Telling a golfer who's not very good at golf to relax is... Is weird, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like telling an angry person to calm down. <laughs> Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> that was much more relaxed. That was even more relaxed. And you've hit that considerably further in flight. Yeah. How did that feel? Good. Really good. More smooth again? Wow. So the difference from where you were at the very start of these sessions to where you are now is completely different. When we talk about feeling more relaxed, people don't often know what relaxed is. So mm -hmm. can I just pinch you a club a second? I'm not going to hit a shot. A, a feeling I like is a sense of at ease. So when we hold the club, instead of being all locked up tight, it feels like, ah, that's better. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a calming, but there's not just a calming of the body, it's a calming of the mind as well, because mm -hmm. suddenly you think, oh yeah, I can do this now. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. So already you're making massive inroads into where you were. It's the can same you remember how you used to swing? Yeah, awfully. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's actually becoming more of a distant like memory to to pull back on which is good yeah it's quite astonishing how quickly you can start to change things isn't it and it's a uh, it's a lot of things with sport isn't it you telling people to relax gets better out of you but that's it we all get built up so tension we, and we do and that because there's more information so that sensation of at ease is awesome well you can hear the sounds that, completely yeah, different last, isn't it yeah oh Oh, robbed. That's just golfers, isn't it? <laughs> um, no, the last three have sounded like a more of a slap. It's a totally different <laughs> tune, isn't it? Totally different tune when you're hitting it. Yeah, brilliant. Such a different looking golf swing now. Careful, that one's carrying. You're laughing in a good way now. <laughs> I'm just waiting for a cheer. I'm not going to do a cheer. <laughs> how, did that, how did that feel? <laughs> Good, give me another one. <laughs> <laughs> so some, some 90 mile an hour. So you is that my swing? So that's your ball speed. So ball the, speed. the ball leaves the club face faster than the actual swing. So your swing speed is 64 miles an hour, uh, which is tremendous, and you're hitting that a long way. But some people think feeling relaxed is sloppy. This is yeah. not sloppy. It's just so your body can function and move as, as well as it can. If we lock up tight, it doesn't move very well, but if we're too sloppy, yeah. it's like you've got no control. So we want that middle ground really. It comes with confidence as well, doesn't it? The more confident you feel, then everything yeah. Yeah, tends to, to relax that bit more. Which is probably a reason why I would be so tense is because really, I don't know what I'm doing. Perfect. Until now. So you've just come on so much just through some of the things that we've been in. So today, what, what are you taking away from today's uh, session? There's a lot of things in the golf swing that I didn't know. Yeah. Uh, and you've broken them down really well. So the half swing and the, the cock back, but the, they come together by the end of like at the end of this point, the end of this section, yeah. which is great. And, you haven't told me to hit the ball harder, but that is hitting the ball harder, Yeah. which for any beginner is what you're, you're trying to do, really. Um, yeah, and I think the confidence part has, has come with just let your body drop, take a moment, yeah, and not be so tense with it. Yeah, and so and yeah, there's been some good results. I as think well. you know you should give yourself a little pat on the back for because we've made a few, quite a few changes, but hopefully they're not too confusing and something that you can go and work on at home. So let's say you're now at home. Um, I like two for one. So if I'm making a, a, a drink yeah. uh, and I'm waiting for the kettle to boil, why not practice my golf swing while yeah, that's yeah. boiling rather than waste their time? So literally, you can just stick your thumb out. And as we're, as we're moving to here, we can see now that thumb is roughly on line with your toes yeah. from here, setting this correctly all the way through. So even while you're making a drink, you can start to practice your golf swing. Uh, you know, in this time of year, it's difficult to get out. So that's mm -hmm. it. So just as a quick recap, just when we get the club to about hip height, the, the shaft of the club is roughly on line with your toes. The more it came round here, the mm -hmm. more difficult things were going to start to become. Setting the wrist correctly and then all the way to top and then all the way through, yeah. So shall we try one more to finish? Yes, please. Well done. Brilliant. Not quite straight. Not straight. We'll work on that a little bit more, make sure the club's working right, but already you can see how much further you're hitting the golf ball yeah. than you were before. Yeah, feeling good? Good. On to the next one. Thank you. In this session, what we want to do 
is explore the swing with different length golf clubs. So different. So we're going to use like a pitching wedge, a seven iron, maybe a hybrid. So imagine now if I suddenly started to take it out of here, that would feel hopefully horrible. Yeah. Yeah. If I whipped it too quickly in here, that might feel a bit yeah. more around the body. So we're just working on good habits all the time, all the way through. Brilliant. That felt like a welly. Look how far you're hitting it now. <laughs> Cheers.